You want to highlight a date range on a line chart? Then take the following steps. Make sure that the date axis type is set to continuous and not categorical. Only then you can add a constant line under the analytics step. Create one line for the start of the date range and one for the end. To let the end users select where the date range should start and end, you first need to create a disconnected date table with all the relevant dates in your data model. Now you can add a slicer with that date field, which then allows you to select a date range without filtering the chart. To figure out the start and ending date of the selected range in the slicer, you need to add two measures. Use the min function to find the start date and the max function to find the ending date. You can then go back to the options for the constant lines and set the values of the constant lines with the measures. The area outside the selected date range you can blend out by adding a shaded area to the left of the start line and to the right of the end line. 